Hey guys, in this video we will add the ability for our character to jump off the wall while we are wall running. Hey guys, let's try to understand uh, vectors, something about vectors that will be helpful for uh, getting our player to jump off the wall while wall running. So let's say this is the wall and this is our player and let's say this is the location of the wall and this is the location of the player. Now if we can get a vector from the wall to the player if we can get a vector like this and if we can get a vector like this and and we have a different vector with our wall like this that is the right vector of a wall that is uh, the right direction of our wall then we can determine in which direction to launch our player character to make it jump off the wall so for example if they are pointing roughly in the same directions as we can see here the dot product of these two vectors will be positive but if they are pointing roughly in the opposite directions as we can see here the dot product of the vectors will be negative so in this way we can determine if our player is to the right side of the wall or to the left side of the wall now how do we get this vector how do we get this vector we can see that we have a position of for the wall and we have a position for the player or let's say we have a location for the wall and we have a location for the player and uh, let's say this is our vector a and uh, this is our vector b we have these two vectors now what i want to find out is uh, a vector a different vector in this direction so let's say this is a this is b and this is c now i want to find out c what we can do is uh, we can subtract this vector from this vector so we can do a minus b which will be similar to just uh, adding two different vectors which will be similar to adding the opposite of b so if we just add these two vectors like this we can get this c vector so similarly we can subtract uh, the location of the wall from the location of the player to get a vector like this and then we can use the dot product to determine if they are if this vector and the right arrow is pointing to this in the same direction or in different directions and then we can launch our character accordingly we are in our wall run project in unreal engine from the content row let's open the first person character blueprint also let's open the runnable wall blueprint now in this runnable wall we can go to the viewport and see how our wall looks like i want to add another arrow to this so let's add an arrow component let's name it arrow right if you have it inside this you can drag it on top of it to detach also i want to rotate it so let's press e and rotate like this let's change the color to green and uh, let's also pay attention to this gizmo you can see that this gizmo is like z upwards x forward and y to the right but in our case the right direction for our wall is downwards because we have to rotate the wall while we're using it so this arrow will be useful later to find out about direction let's go back to the first person character blueprint and this is what we made in the previous video so if we zoom in here this is wall run ability this other actor i want to promote it to variable let's name it wall so we can reference it later 
and let's move it here so we want to do that after this branch now we also have to reset this variable when we end overlap so let's go there and we will set the wall to nothing it will just be empty like uh, this we also want to make a custom event here because we will want to stop the wall run timeline when we are jumping off the wall so let's say stop wall run timeline and we want to connect it to the stop pin here one more thing is uh, previously this here was 2500 i think the speed was too much so let's just change it to 1500 i changed it already so this is a better speed for the wall for the wall run now let's get somewhere like here and zoom in let's make another custom event this one will be the event let's uh, name it something like uh, jump of wall this is the event that we want to use now first we have to check if we are wall running so let's get the is wall running variable and also a branch to check it now we also want to get the wall reference here and we want to check if it is valid so let's use is valid we will use this one after that we have to get it again and we want to cast it bp runnable wall we want to cast it to bp runnable wall because we want to access variables from this so let's get the right vector that we added right arrow that we added it will be here under variables we will get right arrow and from the right arrow we can get forward vector the forward vector is the direction in which our arrow is pointing to now we have one vector we want to do some calculations with vectors so let's see we will need some more vectors now we know that the we know the direction that our arrow is pointing to we want to know if this uh, is the direction that another vector is pointing towards or away from and what will be the another vector it will be the vector that will tell us whether our player character is uh, to the right side or to the left side of the wall something like that so let's get the wall again and we want to use uh, get actor location and again we want to click here right click here and use get actor location so without anything attached this will give us the location of this blueprint that will be the first person character and this is the location of the wall now what we want to do is subtract the wall location from our player character location now this gives us a different vector that can tell us the direction from this wall location to our actor location we know that we can use dot product to know if our two vectors are pointing in the same direction or different directions similar directions or opposite directions we will use comparison greater than so we know that uh, from the previous video we know that if the dot product of two vectors is uh, positive that means they are pointing roughly in the same directions and if it is negative that means they are pointing roughly away from each other now let's select a number we will use select int note for that based on this condition if it is in the same direction we are going to use one if it is in the opposite directions we are going to use negative one and this is a number that we will multiply this forward vector from so we'll multiply this forward vector with this number so if the arrow and uh, the direction from the wall to the player is roughly in the same directions 
this will be the forward forward vector of the arrow if they are pointing in roughly opposite directions this will be the this will be a vector that is opposite or uh, away from this forward vector of the arrow after this we also want to stop the timeline so let's say stop wall run timeline and we have to add some magnitude because now, right now this is just a direction we want to add some magnitude to it so we will multiply it by another number we want integer here let's multiply it with 1500 so we will multiply this vector by 1500 and now we can launch our player launch character let's split this pin we can get the x and y from here but for the z i want to use a different number i want to use 900 because we want our player to also go up a bit now let's connect it Let's select this and press C to comment. Find direction to jump to. And let's say select this and select everything and comment. Jump of wall. I want this to be pinkish. Okay. One more thing is if we click on connector movement here i have changed the air control to 0 0.5 and you can obviously use different numbers here if this uh, does not work for you or if this does not look good now we want to trigger it right when we jump when we use the jump uh, action while we are on the wall we want to trigger it so let's go to the jump logic so this is our double jump and uh, this could be another jump logic if you want to we are using launch character node in your case if you haven't implemented this it might be the jump node so get a branch i will hold b on my keyboard and click here to get a branch we want to know if we are wall running and if we are wall running then we want to jump off wall else we want to do whatever we would normally do and we can connect both of these here now both of these pins here go to the same launch character node that is why we can connect both of these here if you were doing something different you could try connecting it uh, with a copy of all of this logic and see if that works for you if you are using a different speed for the second jump for example you can try something like that but i don't need to because in my case uh, both of these uh, jumps are same compile save and let's see if it works So it seems like it is working and it is working from all of these uh, directions, both of these directions, forward and backwards. So we can now jump off the wall while we are wall running. If it does not work for you, you can try swapping these numbers. If it does not work for you, you can try swapping these numbers. You instead of one, you can type minus one here, and instead of minus one, you can type one here and see if it works for you. In case you have uh, followed different directions, so that is how we can add the ability to jump off the wall while we're wall running. Let me know what you think about this, and uh, I will see you in the next video.